Hello, it's Roger Bisbee here from Skill Builder. I've got another nice little Ask Skill Builder video for you. In fact, it's not a little one, it's quite a long watch actually, but it's a bit of a slow burn, starts really slowly and uh, it develops into something I think is quite horrific. In fact, it's one of those jobs where when people ask you for advice, you think the only thing I can recommend is that you rip the whole lot out and start again. Anyway, have a look at it, see what you think, and uh, grab yourself a coffee and a sandwich because, as I say, it's quite a long watch. But let me know in the comments below what your answer is. Hello, uh, Skill Builder. I'm just sending you the little video. Um, it might be a little long, but sure, we'll uh, try and cut it down maybe a little bit. These are all the bits and pieces that we saw in the showroom that we liked. Uh, this is when the stripping out began. So you can see here the stripping of the bathroom has begun. If you look at this closely here, you'll see mold and a hole in the plasterboard in the corner there. One of those walls is solid, one is plasterboard. This is the old uh, toilet. Um, yeah. So when they stripped it out, there was a pigeonhole, but there was stud work in the way. So they moved the uh, they moved the the pigeonhole, which was fine and starting to look pretty good there. Um, you can see here that the waist is a little the waist is not centered. So they put the toilet here onto the waist, but it wasn't centered. You'll see it in the next shot. There you go. It's obviously. Uh, jammed up against the wall a little bit there um, yeah so it's starting to look good though it looks better than it was um, it looks good on the outside because we haven't kind of really discovered yet what was going on underneath it so all the aesthetics look kind of good initially um, the installation looks good but we hadn't really discovered that um, the leaks that were going on. This side panel on the back is completely loose. It's not sealed correctly. The sealing on the edges is really terrible. It's really badly done. Um, and this piece, this looks like a piece of wood up on the back of the bath. So that needs to be redone. And this is absolutely terrible, yeah. This is really bad. It's totally loose and it's not sealed correctly at all. Yeah, so we need that completely redone. That's really bad. This is just not sealed correctly. This is just not sealed correctly. So, uh, yeah, it's not sealed correctly. It looks like that this is too, it doesn't look like it's low enough or something. Um, looks like it needs to be lower. So, and obviously the bath panel is completely loose. So this is the uh, salt lamp and the water pitcher that got broken and uh, nobody mentioned it to us. We just came home and uh, this stuff was broken. So this uh, little video is the track marks that are on the tile that I'm trying to clean now. Uh, the track marks from the vanity unit being dragged in to the uh, back of the wall and also it looks like the vanity unit is for some reason up off the ground so don't know why that is this is the power switch for the shower it's on the outside of the bathroom um, yeah so there's just pen marks all over the wall there's also pen marks in the vanity unit oh so this is a little video with the uh extractor fan is making that noise and I'm going to turn the lights on and it's flickering um, here you can see this is the beading that's along the bath this is the silicone ceiling you can see that there's holes that the silicone ceiling is already coming up um, and this is right at the shower door there's holes in the silicone this goes down to underneath the bath you can see that there's a hole here between these two plasterboards this is a uh, old pipe that was left underneath and you're looking at the old plasterboard this is where you can see mold uh, growing underneath the old plasterboard and this is one of the main leaks that's a pool of water that was uh, actually from the toilet that's where you can see 
the moulds, the hole in the plasterboard there and all the bits left underneath. The pool of water, somebody tried to hide it with silicone or do something, it didn't kind of work. Uh, this is the back, we were looking at the bath overflow. Pool of water. This is a pool of water here underneath the bath. None of this was made good. They tried to hide it with kind of silicone and so they didn't basically build the bath out correctly. It was just kind of thrown in. Um, none of the walls are square. All the old plasterboard, as you can see, is left on the walls. Uh, it's moldy. There's holes in it. So the solid wall and the plasterboard are not square to each other. So nothing was ever going to fit. And that's why the edge of the bath is uh, leaking. It's still leaking now. You can see where they tried to put silicone in to hide something. I don't know what that's all about. Um, and this is the classy seal not working at the front. Underneath the bath, you see maybe if we can... That's there, you can probably see that is along there. Now there's no tile there, that's plasterboard. So this is where the leak came into the bedroom through the uh, hole in the plasterboard. And this is in the bedroom now where the leak is. It's come right in and it's... Uh, Got the whole floor and it's pretty uh, wet in there. It wasn't taken out and it wasn't re-slabbed like was in the quote. We were supposed to have it re-slabbed and skimmed so uh, that that mold and those holes would not be there anymore. This is um, a little video that's just showing that kind of pool of water. That's a, a kind of a pool of water at the back of the bath. So um, that's still there even after a couple of days after Dean has kind of come and, uh, come and gone. So there's still a pool of water at the, at the back of the bath. So this is, uh, we've just turned the water on on the bath. And you can see that this little puddle is now, uh, this little puddle is filling up. I think you need to pull it back a little bit. Can you sit Larry on the seat? Yeah. I might just see the water on the video. But... Yeah, but it's, the water's filling up on it all right. It does seem to... So... I am gonna, this is a video of uh, just mopping up that pool of water. So I'm just mopping it up and I can actually feel this hot water down there. And uh, you'll pretty much, you'll see that the water is pretty low there. And then if you turn on the taps, it should rise back into that pool. It's starting to rise it's starting to rise up on its own already. So yeah, it's starting to rise up now since we've turned on the tap. That water is coming back into that little pool. It's uh, starting to fill up. So this is a shot of the crack in the bath. This is right at the uh, stopper. Uh, yep, so there's a crack in the bath that uh, they're not taking responsibility for. Whoever else would like to have a little look at this. Um, right here, you can see that uh, there's a bead of water and it's uh, dripping down the back and it's got a pool. There's now a pool of water at the back of the tiles and that was actually what was creating the um it's actually what was creating that pool of water it wasn't 
the mains pipes underneath at all. It was uh, simply the new join that was put on the toilet installation. It's that right there. You can actually see the bead of water 